I'm joined here with Daryl Gibbs, Principal of Cambridge Middle School. Daryl, a lot of people are aware of Cambridge's rich history with the Melbourne Cup, but maybe not so much Cambridge Middle School. Tell me a bit about that. Yeah, I think probably the most, uh, the biggest thing for us recently is uh, James McDonald winning it last year as, as an ex-pupil who uh, not that long ago was, was at the school. So I think for um, our community and for children who are interested in racing, it's quite a cool thing, quite a big thing to have someone like James you know, winning the cup and having sat in the chairs they sat in not that long ago. Absolutely, and let's touch on James. I know his former teacher, uh, Mr Martin, he's still here, but he's a busy man, he's in a meeting, but can you tell us about the, the stories he shared about James as a child? Yeah, uh, Mr Martin's our assistant principal now, and he, um, yeah, he remembers James really fondly and clearly. Um, particularly the fact he said over his teaching career there's only been a couple of kids who from the minute they walked through the door knew what they wanted to do and he said James was always very adamant he was going to be a jockey and, and obviously a very good one. Gosh and that he has achieved. The children seem so engaged with today's presentation. What do you think will be their key takeaways? Um, I think for a lot of them just seeing the cup and I know for a couple of my staff um, who have connections I think just the history, history of the cup, yeah I think just having it here, seeing the cup, um, some of them touching the cup I think will be memories they'll keep for a long time. I'm joined here with Greg Miles who has called 36 Melbourne Cups. Uh, Greg, how did you get into race calling? Well, you have to be a racing tragic first and I achieved that at a very young age. I fell in love with horse racing uh, when I was still in primary school and I loved radio so I thought wouldn't it be pretty cool if I could marry the two together. So I ended up going out to the racetrack, took my little tape recorder and a pair of binoculars, stood up in the back of the grandstand amongst all the people and started calling into the tape recorder and then started to send out the tapes to some broadcasting stations and you know what life's like if if you're there when the door opens you can barge through so a couple of doors opened and I barged right in and somehow it ended up with 36 Melbourne Cups. Gosh what an incredible story you've called some very famous races uh, in your time Maccabi Divas third Melbourne Cup has to be one of my personal favourites do you have a favourite? Uh, maybe my last I think because uh, it's a pressure job and El Mandan in 2016. Um, there were a lot of very, very similar colours in the race. That's a, a personal one, but there are so many others that were uh, resonate more clearly with the with the public and you know my first was Just a Dash in 81 and uh, the year after Gurners Lane who was bred here in this local area uh, by Sir Patrick Hogan uh, beat Kingston Town in an epic um, uh, Melbourne Cup and then there was Kiwi of course in, in 1983 last with a furlong to go and gets up to win they were my first three Melbourne Cups so you know they were amazing and then of course a lot of Bart Cummings uh, he, he'd already won seven when I came to the microphone and I was able to call you know, another handful of, of, of Bart Cummings winners including Viewed who was his last one in 2008 who won by the smallest, I think the second smallest margin ever in history, Damien Oliver with Media Puzzle, uh, lots of very fond memories. Oh, absolutely and you touched earlier on pressure and you, you shared with the students earlier you know, how you study for these races, like you say there can be similar colours and you told them the four P's, can you share those with us? Yes I was told by an old race caller from uh, Atherton in northern Queensland who used to call the races in that district, he said you got to remember the four P's, preparation prevents poor performance and that's what it's all about in any walk of life really I suppose but particularly when you're broadcasting live sport you've got to be prepared mm -hmm. and I would spend all day the day before a race meeting getting ready to go to the races so you prepare for whatever might unfold and so many different scenarios can play out on a, on a race day you can't cover all of the bases but if you're prepared for most of them then you've got a much better chance of producing a, a, a more, a better race call. Mm, it was a wonderful tip that you shared with the students. Thank you for chatting with us and being here today. It was much appreciated. Uh, absolutely my pleasure. Thank you. I am joined with Joe McGrath, keeper of the Melbourne Cup. Joe, what does that job entail? Well, I've got to keep uh, an eye on one of the most sought after sporting prizes, not only in racing, but in, in global sport. And uh, as we're here in Cambridge, it's about taking uh, that trophy out to communities across Australia, New Zealand and Singapore in 2022. What do you enjoy most about these tours? Well, I think, um, you know, growing up, uh, I always had a love and a passion for racing, but also the Melbourne Cup. And I suppose the reaction of people as you move across 
different jurisdictions as to what the cup uh, might mean to people. You know, here in Cambridge, which has uh, got a, a heavy history connected with the Melbourne Cup, with over 13 Melbourne Cup winners bred here. But then going to a school such as uh, in, in Cambridge where James McDonald went to school, um, you really see a bit of a, a look on kids' faces as to, um, you know, maybe I might be the next James McDonald. I'm joined with James. James, tell us a little bit about today's visit and how you enjoyed it. Um, well, the Melvin Cup has come to Cambridge Middle School and it's, I'm really excited because it's the Melbourne Cup. Do you have a favourite Melbourne Cup? Um, well, when James McDonald won, I really enjoyed watching it. Mm. And of course, because James was a past student here at Cambridge Middle School, which is very cool. And what does the Melvin Cup mean to you? Um, well, I think it means a lot because I watch it like every year mm. and the race is really big in Australia and New Zealand. And you, you love the industry as well? Uh, yes, I do. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks for chatting with us. Thank you, you nailed it. Thanks, James. That was awesome.